Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Okay, today we are going to continue our chapter Atomic Structure, Class 11, uh, Chapter 1. Okay, Chemistry Chapter 1. So, before class discussed up to Huygens wave theory, now we are going to enter main topic uh, electromagnetic theory. Electromagnetic theory, okay. Electromagnetic theory. It was proposed by Maxwell, not cricketer games, Glenn Maxwell. It was proposed by Maxwell. So, according to electromagnetic theory, when any uh, charged particle accelerates, it produces two fields. Okay, this is a wave. When any, any charged particle accelerates, it produces two fields. This is electrical field. And this is magnetic field. That is electric field and this is magnetic field. These both are perpendicular to each other. Okay. They both are perpendicular to each other. And also they both are perpendicular to the propagation of light. So they are perpendicular to each other and they are also perpendicular to the, the charge particle accelerates. No? So to the charge particle they both are perpendicular to the light. Okay. The, ये दोनों कोड़ा ये मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल फील्ड दोनों परपेंडिकुलर का अंटा ही अधे विधंगा लाइट के कोड़ा प्रॉपेगेशन ऑफ लाइट के कोड़ा परपेंडिकुलर का अंटा ही दोनों विधाल का परपेंडिकुलर का अंटा ही बोथ इलेक्ट्रिकल फील्ड और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके तो वेलोसिटी ऑफ लाइट इस कांस्टेंट c इज इक्वल टू we take they travel in the same velocity okay according to electromagnetic theory electric charge vibrates when an electric charge accelerates or vibrates it produces two fields they both are perpendicular to each other okay this is called electromagnetic radiation so electro, these are electromagnetic waves. The electromagnetic waves which produce radiation is called electromagnetic radiation. Okay, these electromagnetic waves which produce radiation when vibrates or accelerates. This is called electromagnetic radiation. Okay, according to this theory, the charge particle when do not require any medium to travel. It can travel in the free air, it can travel in vacuum. Free air means vacuum. It does not require any particular medium to travel. And for any medium, it has same velocity, which is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay. Now, let us discuss about electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum means the electromagnetic waves, they have similar velocity, any waves. Electromagnetic uh, in the electromagnetic radiation, any waves have same velocity, which is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second, but they have different frequencies and wavelengths. They have different frequency and they have different wavelengths. Okay, so according to the entire range of frequency and wavelength of The entire range of frequency and wavelength of electromagnetic waves is called electromagnetic spectrum. 
the entire range of frequency and wavelength of electro lambda is denoted by wavelength of electromagnetic waves is called electromagnetic spectrum so due to the difference between frequency and wavelengths the electromagnetic waves are divided according to their difference in frequencies and wavelengths for example for example when we take some of the examples like a radio frequency radio frequency equal 10 to the power of 6 hz we observed we observe radio frequency at the frequency of 10 to the power of 6 which is used for broadcasting television broadcasting this is not visible these frequency lights are not visible because we do not see the broadcasting waves which are optical fiber waves in optical fibers inside there is there are in total internal reflection the waves undergoes total internal reflection those we cannot identify with our eyes those are radio frequency waves okay and also the visible light we see the visible light right those visible light frequencies is 10 to the power of 15 hz right these waves electromagnetic waves are the frequency of 10 to the power 15 hz hz then only we can see with our eyes this is called visible light and the 10 to the power of 15 hz lo unnatuvanti frequency electro frequency kaliginatuvanti electromagnetic waves maatrame manam mana neck eyes tho chudagalutam okay alage 10 to the power of 10 10 to the power of 13 hz ne frequency electromagnetic wave frequency waves ni manam heating we use in heating heating lo use chestam 10 to the power 13 p hz frequency range lo ne heating lo use chestam okay alage 10 to the power of 10 hz frequency unit we manam different radars lo use chestam we use 10 to the power of 10 hz frequency waves in different radars these are seen or calculated by using different electronic devices okay now let us see the characteristics of electromagnetic waves okay the characteristics of electromagnetic waves see the what are the properties the first property is wavelength this also denoted by lambda let us take one wave okay this is crest the upper part the top part we call as crest and the lower part is called trough yeah. okay what is my wavelength the distance between the distance between two successive crest or trough or similar points the distance between two successive crest or trough or two similar points is called wavelength and these two similar points kaina like both the crest ko na distance e trough ko na distance we need wavelength ani pilus we call it as wavelength the we did not wavelength using uh, by symbol uh, lambda okay the units what are the units of wavelength nanometer centimeter meter and angstroms etc these are the main units okay let us see some conversions right picometer also let us see some conversions according to these units
वन एंगस्ट्रॉम इक्वल टू टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस एट सेंटीमीटर्स सॉरी मीटर्स टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस सॉरी सेंटीमीटर ओनली सेन मीटर्स सो वन एंगस्ट्रॉम इक्वल टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस एट सेंटीमीटर और माइनस टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस टेन मीटर्स लाइक वाइज वन नैनोमीटर इक्वल टू टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस सेवन सेंटीमीटर टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस नाइन मीटर्स वन पिकोमीटर इक्वल टू टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस टेन सेंटीमीटर्स टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस ट्वेल्व मीटर्स लाइक वाइज वन नैनोमीटर इक्वल टू टेन टू टेन एंगस्ट्रॉम्स ओके वन नैनोमीटर को टेन एंगस्ट्रॉम दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट कन्वर्शंस वाइल वी आर डूइंग इन प्रॉब्लम्स और एनी ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कन्वर्शंस ओके वन एंगस्ट्रॉम इक्वल टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस एट सेंटीमीटर कन्वर्टिंग टू मीटर देर इज एडिंग ऑफ टू यूनिट्स ओके on this about wave length the next is wave number now uh, wave number what is mean by wave number uh, let us take one unit distance let us take uh, now we will discuss about uh, wave number it is denoted by new lambda okay wave number what is mean by mean by wave number let us take some unit distance let us try a wave okay this is 1 cm the number of waves passing through a, a unit distance is called wave number अंत और यूनिट डिस्टेंस वन सेंटीमीटर मनम यूनिट डिस्टेंस एनी वेवस आ यूनिट डिस्टेंस पास अवता है अदे वेव नंबर नंबर आफ् वेवस पास थ्रू एन यूनिट डिस्टेंस इज का वेव नंबर ओके सो इट इज बेसिकली द रेसिप्रोकल आफ वेव लेंथ ओके इट इज रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ वेव लेंथ सो वी कैन रईट न्यू लैमडा इक्वल टू वन बै न्यू बार इक्वल टू वन बै लैमडा ओके बिकॉज इट इज द रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ वेव लेंथ ना वाट आर दूनिट्स बिकॉज इट इज रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ वेव लेंथ वी कैन रईट सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स एंड मीटर इनवर्स एस इट्स यूनिट ओके Now uh, this is about wave number. Now let us discuss about frequency. The number of waves passed through a point in one second. The number of waves passed through a point in one second is called frequency, and it is denoted by nu. Okay, it is denoted by nu. And what are the units? The units is h cycle per second inverse and second inverse. Okay, these are the units, and frequency is uh, inversely proportional to lambda wave length okay why because see frequency means the number of waves passed through a point in one second so let us take these are the waves which shorter wave length pass through a point now in the same distance see This is how this in this way having more wavelength. And the e wave ki ekko wavelength thunna na malla. Oka point distance lo takku waves ani bi pass hota hai. Adhi akar takku wavelength thunna na malla ekko waves ani bi pass hota hai. Oka point this kunte. Kavati frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. So we can write frequency nu equal to c by lambda. And thus we can write frequency. C into one by lambda, 
So 1 by lambda is wave number. So nu equal to C nu inverse. Okay. We can generate formulas. Using the information given in the question, we can write, we can write, uh, we can substitute in any formula. Okay. Yeah, this is about frequency. Now let us discuss about amplitude. The height of the crest. or the depth of the trough the height of the crest or the depth of the trough is called amplitude now let us take a wave ok this is the height of the crest and this is, the, this is called depth of the crest this is called amplitude yeah, ok the height of the crest or the depth of the trough is called amplitude and it is denoted by like height is denoted actually by a centimeter, meters, and angstrom, etc. Okay, this is amplitude, and amplitude is directly proportional to intensity. When amplitude is high, and the intensity of light is also high, why? Because in the afternoon we see the intensity of light is very bright and very high, and we cannot bear it because the height of the crest or the height of the trough are very more because they having shorter wavelength when they have shorter wavelength they actually have more height white light is having a lesser wavelength than red light that's why in the evening sessions we does not have that much brightness of light why because they having more wavelength red light but the height is less the amplitude is less so the intensity is also less yeah this is about amplitude now let us discuss about velocity. The distance covered by a wave in one second is called velocity. The distance covered by a wave in one second is or the distance travelled by a wave in one second is called velocity and the units meter per second centimeter per second and etc units velocity for any electromagnetic radiation is same v equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second or we can write 3 into 10 power 5 centimeter per second yeah. The velocity for any electromagnetic radiation is same and yeah let us see some formulas before formulas let us see uh, time period the time taken by a wave to complete one cycle orbitation The time taken by a wave to complete one cycle orbitation is called time period. It is denoted by T and the relation between T and nu is equal to T is equal to 1 by nu. Okay, T is equal to 1 by frequency. Yeah, yes. Now let us discuss basic formulas. C equal to nu lambda, which is velocity, it is denoted by C equal to frequency into wavelength. So we can generate formulas by these wavelength equal to c by nu and uh, nu equal to c by lambda. These are basic formulas. Yeah, this is about characteristics of electromagnetic wave. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching and please like, share, subscribe. Let us meet in next video. Thank you.